Vaigash. In the Torah portion of Vaigash, there are numerous connections to the Messiah. Yehuda, drawing near to Yosef in the beginning of this Torah portion, points towards the end times and the joining of the kingdoms of Ephraim and Yehuda. Yehuda, putting his life on the line for his brother Benjamin, points towards the Messiah. And Yosef, finally revealing himself to his brothers, points towards the eventual reconciliation between Yeshua and the Jewish people. The beginning of this Torah portion in Genesis 44 verse 18 says, Then Yehuda came near unto him. This text hints towards the eventual drawing near of Messiah, son of Yehuda, to Messiah, son of Yosef. Amos 9 verse 13 points toward this event. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper, and the treader of grapes, him that soweth seed. The Midrash states that the plowman and the treader of grapes point towards Yehuda and the Messiah son of David, while the reaper and the sower of seed point towards Yosef and the Messiah son of Yosef. In the Messianic era, Yehuda will overtake Yosef, and the Messiah will ultimately come from Yehuda. This points towards the unification of Yehuda and Yosef in the time to come. As it says in the Midrash in Hasidic Jewish commentary, Yahut Moshiach, Yehuda drew near to Yosef so that no heir can be between them. The deeds of the fathers are portents for the sons. Likewise, the deeds of Yehuda and Yosef anticipated the deeds of King Rehoboam from the tribe of Yehuda and King Jeroboam from the tribe of Yosef. But the secret meaning of the passage that is there will be peace between Messiah son of Yosef and Messiah son of David. The Haft Torah portion for Parshat Vaigash is in the same vein of unity between Yehuda and Yosef. The prophecy in Ezekiel depicts two sticks, one for Yehuda and one for Yosef. The two sticks are combined, pointing towards not only the unification of Yehuda and Yosef, but also the two messiahs being combined into one messiah. The next prophecy in Ezekiel 37 verse 24 says, And my servant David shall be king over them, and they shall have one shepherd, a single king from the house of David, representing both messiahs will rule over the united kingdoms of Yehuda and Yosef, like a shepherd watching over his flock. We believe that this is Yeshua of Nazareth, from whom both the suffering Messiah, son of Yosef, and the victorious Messiah, son of David, are joined together. Yehuda offered to give his life for the life of his brother Benjamin. He would rather be a slave for the rest of his life in the land of Mitzrayim than let his father suffer again. When Yosef saw what Yehuda wanted, he knew that his brothers had repented. They had passed the test, and Yosef no longer had any reason to hide from them. God has hidden Yeshua from the Jewish people in a similar way in order to test them and bring them to repent. We who believe in Yeshua should not be disheartened that the majority of the Jewish people do not know Yeshua. We must remember that God has not abandoned His people. We must remember that God is always at work with His people. It is just as it says in Romans 11 verse 25 that blindness in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. And when the time is right, it will be just as it says in Romans 11 verse 26 through 27, All Israel shall be saved, as it is written, There shall come out of Zion the Deliverer, and shall turn away from ungodliness from Yaakov. For this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins. In Genesis 45 verse 1 it says, Then Yosef could not refrain himself before all them that stood by him. And he cried, Cause every man to go out from me. And there stood no man with him, while Yosef made himself known to his brethren. Yosef stood before his brothers, revealing that he had been the one who sustained them through the famine, that he had been the one who tested them, that he had been the one who'd been with them all along. In this same way, Yeshua would reveal himself to his people in the future. 
Christian missionary efforts towards the Jewish people have not been nearly as successful as the efforts toward other nations and religions. The Jewish people have good reason not to accept Yeshua in the way that Christianity presents it. But the real reason why the Jewish people have not yet recognized Yeshua as the Messiah is because He has not yet revealed Himself to them. Yeshua conceals Himself on purpose. Mary of Magdala did not recognize Yeshua until He spoke to her by name. The two Talmudim disciples on the way to Emmaus didn't recognize Yeshua until He made a blessing over the bread and disappeared before their eyes. On the shore of Galilee, even his own Talmudim didn't recognize him for who he was. Romans 11 verse 25 through 26 points towards a time where Yeshua will be hidden from his people. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits. That blindness in part is happened to Israel, until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. And so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written, There shall come out of Zion the Deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Before Yosef revealed his identity to his brothers, he cleared the Egyptians from the room. If we liken the brothers to the Jewish people, then the Egyptians are the Gentiles. When the time came from Yosef to show himself, he did not need to show the Egyptians. The Egyptians already knew who he was and they were not needed in the situation. When Yeshua reveals himself to his people, he will not need the help of missionaries. Then it will be said, there was no man with him when Yeshua made himself known to his brothers. Vaigash has numerous connections to the Messiah. From the beginning of this Torah portion, where Yehuda draws near to his brother Yosef, to the middle, where Yehuda shows his willingness to lay down his life and freedom for his brother and where Yosef decides to show himself as his family's savior, to the end in the Haftorah, where the Messiah son of Yosef and the Messiah son of David will be one in the time to come.